Greetings, this has ever happened to you. My phone is running out of space for videos, so I'm gonna run through this. Um, I need to um, summarize for people that I recently met uh, at Florida Tax Watch. Um, uh, one of the big reasons that propelled me to uh, actively attend last week and to sing your praises, uh, but also to seek, you know, acquaintances. I'm in a bit of a struggle with um, the um, Miami-Dade County property appraiser. Again, knowing my video uh, capacity, my phone was running out. I'm going to really just zero in on the important aspects of this. It's been a struggle that's gone on uh, since at least 2004 when uh, so we're talking 18 years uh, the Miami-Dade County property appraiser uh, has a considerable amount of disrepute um, Marco Rubio took up the struggle uh, Carlos Lopez Cantera uh, uh, was involved um, he did me the kindness of actually employing me as a campaign uh, canvasser and a state representative campaign um, so w what am I getting at uh, eight, 18 years of uh, wrongful practices by the Miami-Dade County property appraiser uh, what are the three big items um, again I'm condensing this first of all dishonesty they claim to this day that they're mandated by the Florida Supreme Court to use uh, only one of the three accepted appraisal practices, namely comparable sales. That's, and it's incredible. Four property appraisers have told me to my face that, that a, a lie, right? It's amazing, right? Because finally, Lori Parrish in Broward, circa 2008, enlightened me and said, no, that she, the Broward and most county property appraisers of Florida's 67 counties use the income approach but really, it, ultimately, the Florida Supreme Court says all three need to be considered. Um, uh, number two, um, the county appraiser has said, the county appraiser's office has been saying recently there was nobody harmed by coronavirus and it, it will have no impact on their appraisals. Uh, and yet, not only do you know that from having seen restaurants go out of business, uh, but the county itself lowered rents for airport, uh, restaurants, gift shops, and so on by approximately one third uh, during coronavirus. And some of those reductions are still going on, which absolutely proves that the county property appraiser's office is, is lying. Um, finally, this has been going on. The, what they're doing is they overpraised properties. The, the uh, number of property tax appeals in Miami-Dade County uh, is, I think, possibly more than all other counties combined. And what they do is they overpraise properties every year. Imagine you're the property owner. This is retail properties. I don't want to, don't want to mislead people. Um, you're told that your property is going to be taxed on a value of so-and-so. You know that's over overappraised. Uh, you shouldn't be taxed that much. You go in, you prove your case in front of the administrative court, the value adjustment board. But the very next year, the county property appraiser gives you the same uh, comparable sales, the same over appraisal. And this has happened for at least 18 years when I've been involved, 18 years. So they can't deny that they're over appraising properties. Do you remember during the, the, the Great Recession, the mortgage meltdown, that property appraisers, private property appraisers, were being sent to prison for overappraising properties. It's a felony. Yet every single year, uh, approximately 10,000 retail properties are deliberately, knowingly overappraised by the Miami Dade County property appraiser. That's really, a, it, it's just so far off the charts. Most, most, if not all, of the county property appraisers, we heard Tampa maybe that, uh, in in Florida are are good. Miami Dade County is horrendous. Thanks for listening.